welcome back to the channel. Um, I am going to show you my new additions. I do have some new snakes I'm going to show you, but I also have something a little bit cuter than some snakes. Meet Whiskey and Lightning. just the cutest things you've ever seen yes I am now a goat mom check it out what's his name whiskey no no big goat So before ball pythons, um, I was breeding crested geckos. I recently got rid of them when we adopted Sydney. Uh, it was just, what? I know, I'm talking to myself. Uh, here we go. So I got rid of the crested geckos when we adopted Sydney. It was just a lot of work. I had about 40 breeders and um, it was just too much. Well, Jack has been doing really good taking care of his guinea pigs. He's been doing really good with his leopard gecko. Um, you know, he missed the frog. He's super involved when it comes to animals. He's a little wild. And um, he doesn't, per se, try to hurt them, but he's still trying to learn about how to nicely hold them. Um, but today... up crested gecko boxes why because my husband um ordered them or actually won them on an auction good idea um so here's to the crested gecko life again we don't have them yet but i'm just gonna go ahead and get everything ready um, got a nice little shelf fix up for them. I have my hedgehogs, um, which Jack has been doing really good taking care of those too. So he's actually in there with his pigs now, if you hear them. Um, but yeah, so here's to another journey. Um, and I think it's time for me to go back to work. Eight weeks at home and I have ordered like all kinds of crap. I have two new snakes that I haven't showed you guys. Um, when I picked up yesterday, I drove to Atlanta and met Frank, um, Monroe, Bird. I don't know. What is your last name, Frank? I like Frank Bird better. Uh, but I met him and picked up a mail. And a couple days ago... Did I say I'm ready to go back to work? Yeah. Um, and then the other day I met a local girl who had purchased this snake from someone, um, pretty reputable. And, um, uh, I wanted to add lace to my collection, so I picked up a lace. Um, uh, but yeah, so I'll show those off, uh, today as well. And then I have something coming in the mail. So we are currently awaiting for John. For y'all that don't know who John is. You probably should have watched my first like two videos and you'll learn who John is. But yes, I am ready to go back to work. I have spent way too much money. So, I don't know. Here's to the Crest of Gecko life again. Yep. So, told you we're getting Crest of Geckos. Gonna set up their tubs. Kind of super uh, simple. I think they're really small. You know, I haven't even seen what he's bought. So I have no clue what they are. I don't know what they look like. I don't know how big they are, but I'm assuming they're babies. Um, so I, I have, baby. here's another one. So I have my simple six quart tub here. Put some paper towels in the bottom. Got their two little cups, food and water. And I got some plants. So since we're still quarantining, I'm not going in any stores unless I really, really have to. Um, so I have some extra plants that I'm just going to divide up for these guys until I'm able to go to a store. Or even if Tristan, they come from Gecko Junkie. Everyone knows who Tristan Kaler is. Um, if he has some extra plants, you know, I'll 
throw some of those in there to kind of. I even have these little hides I thought I would never use because no more lizards. And these are too, you know, too small for ball pythons, really. Lord, help me. Did I say I'm ready to go back to work yet? You need milk? Okay, go to the kitchen. I'll be there in just a minute. That was a call for milk. Oh. Okay, so this is the first ball python I've ever had to um, bite me straight out of the bag. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Um, she's in shed, and I'm sure she's totally freaked out. Um, but she is a desert ghost het cheese truck. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing of the snake I got from Bob. However, it was in shed, so I'm going to show you a um, picture of it now that it's shed out. Um, I'm also going to show you the snake I got from Frank. I went last week and met him halfway, I guess, in Atlanta somewhere, um, and picked that up. So I'm super excited about that boy. And I also picked up another snake local from a girl that lives around here. Um, she's got some pretty high-end stuff that she's just collecting up. Okay, so when I did the unboxing on this girl, she was in shed, but this is the Desert Ghost Het G-Stripe female I picked up from Bob Vu. Um, I do have the big female that I got from Justin, the Double Het Enhancer G-Stripe, which Enhancer and um, Desert Ghost are supposed to be the same. They're compatible. I've read mixed reviews that one is a little bit cleaner than the other. However, I do not know, but I got one of each. So we'll see what that does. Um, and then hopefully I'll be getting my boy from Billy soon. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know if I've told you what he is yet. So that's going to be super exciting. Just to have a snake from Billy from Mutation Creation is exciting enough. So... So this is the fire red stripe that I picked up from Frank Monroe, bird, whatever your last name is. Um, it's a boy. Alright, so this is the new project that I decided I wanted to get started on. This is an inchy lace. This I actually picked up from a girl local. She bought it from um, somebody pretty reputable off of Morph Market. Um, Vivid Pythons, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to go back and look. Um, I do have it wrote down. But this boy, this boy as well. These things are like super active. Like, I don't, I've never had a ball python run away like these have. I don't know. Um, but yes, this is my first lace. First of many, I do believe, because the white lace stuff is where it's at. I'm definitely very interested in getting some white lace stuff going. So, um, this boy is actually big enough to breed. I might have a girl or two I'm not throwing with soon. Um, we'll see. Pretty much about the Georgia group today. I'm rocking my Michael Lieber shirt. Um, that's who my wookie came from. So, I'm super pleased with that boy. Um... But yes, and I showed you in the beginning of this video that a snake had laid eggs. That was actually the first snake I ever bought from a Kingdom member. Um, the Facebook group is a really tight-knit group of people. I really wish every state or everyone like in the community was like the Georgia group. Like they go above and beyond. They're super, super great people. Um, however, um, yeah, so my first snake from Alby laid. I think I got this snake maybe two, four years, I think it was three or four years ago, from the first Atlanta Repticon that we attended. 
and she finally laid eight good eggs for me in one slug. So I was super excited about that. I was actually able to watch her lay these eggs. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any good videos because she was not having it. So, but yes, so this is, I guess, kind of towards the Georgia group. So thank you guys so much for all the support, all the love. Make sure if you're watching my videos, make sure you're liking, commenting, and subscribing. And, um, and share. So I'm excited. I'm almost to 500 subscribers. I might do something special for 500, but I don't like doing the giveaways because I want the people that's subscribing actually watching my videos. So if you don't like it, you don't like it. It's not a big deal. But thank you guys so much. Thank you for all the support and stay tuned. Hopefully next week I'll have this whole editing thing figured out because this week was super stressful. Like, I never, ever, 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 ever want to edit another video ever again. So, thank you guys.